Hey everybody, so I have a little project I want to do today and also so I can test out some tools I've been sent to review but obviously I need to use them before I can review them. Uh, I have a old piece of wood, this was bought for about £2 as an off cut, was going to be for a different project but now it's going to be for this. I have got two broom handles because I need some basically some wooden dowels and if I bought them as wooden dowels they wanted about £8 for a length so I bought two wooden handles for about was it £2.50 each? Uh, they're about as long as I need them to be. Yep, that will be all good. In fact, this, yeah, more than long enough. So that's good. So I was just doing some eyeing up. I have some very cheap brackets. And if you can't tell, I'm going to be building a overhead camera mount slider. It's not going to be for making sliding shots, it won't be smooth enough for that. But what it will be good for is, uh, well I need to show you how I film my videos in the garage. You might not be aware of this. Okay, so this is how I've been filming all my garage videos up until now. I basically just built a little bracket out of wood which is attached to my board. I have a tripod head with a, uh, you know, like a 3D head on it but it's multi directional access lock off, it's perfect for this sort of thing. And then they say a tripod head with a bar which just goes through it and that gives me my overhead shot with my lighting above. And this has been great because it allows me to do my top down videos, it means the camera is very close to where my head is so I can talk close to the microphone. Uh, and I can also pivot it around in all directions and get it wherever I need it. So this has actually been a really good setup and it's with the good lighting it's got the maximum amount of a very cheap old little camcorder. Uh, I really do need to uprate this at some point, but that'll have to wait. But there you go, that is how it's currently done. What I'm going to build with this is going to be basically a bit like a rail system. I'm going to cut out two pieces of this and drill the holes into it so I can mount uh, these two bars at a set distance apart that will be then mounted to the wall above the desk. And I'm going to make like a, I don't know what you'd call it, a shuttle, something. Uh, a piece of wood which is basically going to have holes through it so I can repeat what I've done with this tripod head but it will be mounted on the rails and then I will be able to slide the entire thing up and down the, uh, the desk so I can actually get downward shots at any part of it because obviously from where I am now I can only get downward shots here if I want to uh, record me drilling something it's pointing in that direction it's not ideal it's worked great but I know I can do it better this is going to be super fast and slapdash like the mount I have now I don't need to spend a load of time to make it, it just needs to be strong enough and good enough. But I thought I'd make a video on this because this might be helpful for other people who do garagey style videos or maybe want an overhead rig and don't want to spend a load of money. As I say, I've spent less than £10 on this, lot like, easy. Okay, so the number one job is just to chop off these rounded ends, it's only going to complicate matters for me. I'm also going to uh, peel off these stickers because I've got a feeling these won't be easy peel and I'll need to sand off the resi residue. As I suspected, these are not easy peel. These are not even close to easy peel. These are what I'd call hard peel. Okay, so I've got the stickers off, uh, best I can. Oh, there's a little bit more to come off there, but it, it will come off over time as stuff gets slid up and down it. And I can always sand it again. There we go, good enough. Uh, I've also sanded the entire length of these just to make sure they're as smooth as possible so we don't get any snags. Now I just need to chop off the ends of both uh, and make sure they're in even length because one end is square ended and one's rounded obviously because these are actually broom handles. So now I'm going to just hack these off where the dome starts uh, and actually even the length up between the two because one's a few millimetres longer. I think you can see they went slightly deeper on that one than they did this. What I'm going to do now is not correct. I'm going to use a metal working hacksaw to cut this piece of wood. Um, I don't think it's going to blunt the blade particularly and to be honest with you this blade is pretty old anyway and I'm going to replace it. Uh, but this will just give me a bit of a finer cut than my other saw which is quite wide toothed. round off that end. There you go, that's good enough. I've just got to repeat that, but I'm also going to make sure I've got the length right to match them both up.
Okay, I've measured how far I want this to come out from the wall and made a line. Uh, I'm not even going to bother measuring this, I'm just going to cut this piece off and hold it up against this one. Um, though I will just double check that what I've got left over is going to be enough. Mild, yeah, I've got, I've got plenty here, so... So now I'm just going to pop that one on top of there, just mark it. Should go slow at the end and then you can avoid chip out. Uh, you see, I haven't broken any corners off. If you go really hard to the last minute and then push it, you're just going to snap it and you end up with a big corner missing. Right, so those are quite hefty. Are these L brackets going to be enough? Yeah, there's no real weight on this, and that's going on there. I'll be using some long screws to put it in that way, and some uh, raw plugs and screws into a brick wall going that way. They're not going to go anywhere. I'm going to hang off of it, but it'll take the camera. So, as you can imagine, I'm going to have the two rails going next to each other like that, and then I just need a block that's going to sit on it and slide backwards and forwards, and is wide enough that it can take the uh, hole for the size of the tripod um, stanchion, as you might want to call it. If I want to do it sideways, that's going to require me drilling all the way through here with a spade bit, which is doable because I do have wood either side, but I don't have a lot. So as it turns out, the tripod pole is exactly the same size of this spade bit. Now if I've got to go through it twice to put rails that way, I could just do it once in the middle uh, and then do the, the rail holes going that way and that way I wouldn't have to make two big holes. I only need enough wood to cater for the rail, a hole and another rail. So I've actually got plenty here, so what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to try and bore a hole through this this way, and if that doesn't work, I'm going to slightly change the design. Uh, this is where I'll be testing out this Bosch drill that they've sent me. This will really be telling, just to see how much sort of power this thing has got. Okay, I'm going to find the centre extremely accurately by just holding the bit sideways. Come back a little way. Okay, Let's see if this works. Chips out. Keep on going. It's going very well. Well, we had a bit of a blowout on the other side, but that doesn't matter. I'll we'll sand that down. But we have a hole all the way through. How's that going to line up? Well, it fits, but 
honestly, that is a little bit tight. I'm going to want to sand that out just a bit. But that's good. Because it's taken that hole so easily, I can do this the way I was intending. And I'm going to drill this first because it will help me um, gauge where I need to drill the other holes for the other bits. You'll see. So I need the pole to be about there because I don't want... I want enough meat between so the pole's going to go about there. So I need to put the next hole and that will be going this way. Pole is in the tripod pole. Then takes me to my edge. and part this off. There's our basic shuttle. Highly sophisticated sanding technique. Okay, so these broom handles are a little inconsistent in size, as it turns out. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to enlarge these holes a little bit more. I saw if the lighting appears to have uh, changed significantly is because it is now night time. Um, I am still looking after my mum who's not too well. Um, so I had to stop and I've lost about four, four hours. But I now have this. I have holes in here which are big enough that these loosely fit on. Because I don't want, because I know these aren't straight, these, um, these broom handles, not perfectly. So I'm allowing for that by giving it extra slot. It won't make any difference to the, the camera mounting, but it will make it easier to slide. Okay, where's my glue? I'm going to put this on here. I'm just going to screw a screw through the top. Okay, I've got that attached now. And I've slid this on. I've got it to the same position. And I have a mark. So I'm going to go for it. So if I've got this right, this should slide all the way to the bottom. I've just realised this is a little bit cocked, but it actually doesn't matter because this still gets up to the end, it just means there's a slight gap here. 
this really it's just got to do a job as I say if I wanted to do this really nicely I would be like being careful about how I cut stuff and measuring so do you get the idea now then all I need to do is attach this to the wall okay now I'm just going to drill one hole just to get this thing on the wall and then I'll get it level and I'll put the other hole in the other side and then do the third and fourth hole now I have the opportunity to try this out on hammer mode So drilled four more holes, raw plugs in, screwed it in and we are now up and as you can see I've got the uh, tripod mounted in here and the camera just faces straight down here and even on its most zoomed out you don't see this in the bottom of the shot so it's absolutely perfect. Um, this can be raised up and down if needs be using this Jubilee clip to, clip to lock it and I can also suspend it if I want the camera much closer to the desk. I can actually hang it down like that and then use the Jubilee clip above to hold it in place. So it just slides up and down like so. It's a little stiff in a couple of places at the moment, but I'm sure over time that will actually wear itself in. It's already getting easier. Should we attach you? I think I'm going to work some way of actually locking this in. Um, maybe put a bolt in or something, I'll work that out later. Okay, so this is its most zoomed out and as you can see the edge of the table's here so it's absolutely perfect but I always work slightly tighter than that so there we go. So this is basically the shot you're used to, right? Well watch now. I'm now going to try an inverted shot so you can see what I do for the vice. I'll have to work out final alignments, but that is working at the vise, and then I think we should be able to easily transition to the drill, but obviously I'll have to get that straight, so... If it's not straight, I'll work that out later. Um, but down to the deck, and I never drill that low anyway, because it only goes that far. Ignore the mess, I'm going to have a clear up in the morning, I've just been trying to get this in. But now we can go for one of those famous sliding shots going across straight up to the point. <laughs> so that was hanging like that. Um, yeah, I know this is very, very quick and dirty and it kind of looks a bit messy. It's not too bad. Ow! But I really don't have much time at the moment and I wanted to just get this together so I could use it. Uh, I might make a, a version 2 in the future. As I say, this only cost me about 7 quid. Um, but I mean, it's strong enough, it's not going anywhere, it slides freely enough, and that's only going to improve over time. I think that is a very neat solution to being able to film over a desk vertically, but have it in any position, as you have already seen. There you go. I hope you enjoyed that one. Thank you for watching, and uh, thanks to my patron supporters. Thank you for your patience with me being very slow at the moment, because my mum's not very well. Um, She's on the mend, but long story short, the doctor's words the other day were, well, with all the drugs we gave her, we basically poisoned her, which might explain why she's feeling the way she is. <laughs> Don't worry, it's been a nightmare. Anyway, there you go. Leave a like. Catch you next time. If you enjoyed this video and the other content on the channel, please consider following the links in the description to show your support.